Yo, what is up guys? This is Volti back again with a brand new World of Warcraft video. In the End Time Dungeon, you get to see an alternate version of Azeroth where Deathwing has destroyed the world. This was a really cool dungeon concept, however you only get to see this alternate timeline version of Azeroth from within the very strict confines of the dungeon. However, if you look off into the horizon, you can see there is a lot of stuff going on in the background, things that you can't normally explore in game. So in this video, I'm going to be going outside of the bounds and see what is in this secret zone. So you basically need to be a demon hunter if you want to have any hope of trying to get into the background here. And if you jump around as a demon hunter, you'll find out very quickly that there's no actual way to actually get past the invisible wall. However, in the bronze Dragonshire, there's one spot that doesn't have invisible walls and you can actually easily jump out of it just like that as a demon hunter. As crazy as that sounds, it is really that easy to get out of bounds in this incredible dungeon and you can have free reign over what to explore in this amazing backdrop that Blizzard has created. As you can see, this is a desecrated version of Dragonblight that has been destroyed by Deathwing. This is absolutely insane to see, and it's not just the background. Blizzard has actually created a giant zone, a giant secret zone that is in the game here. So I found this weird little dragon here. Like, I'm not sure why there's this yellow dragonling just randomly chilling out here, but for some reason you can't click on it. I'm not sure why Blizzard put it in, but it's there anyway. So yeah, if you guys have played in Northrend, if you guys played in Wrath of the Lich King, you guys will recognize this zone. This is actually Dragonblight, but an alternate timeline version of Dragonblight. As you can see here, there's Dalaran in the background. I can't believe they even put Dalaran. Like Dalaran, they even put this into the game files. What is that? It's a floating dragon skeleton that's kind of crazy to see wow it's just floating there that's pretty crazy that's kind of creepy but it is kind of cool at the same time it's so weird that it's just floating in midair they've even put these random rocket carts like i'm not sure why this is here but blizzard thought it was necessary to add detail to the zone here is the raft gate like yeah they put the raft gate into this backdrop dude is that floating that's there's no water, like, <laughs> the waterfall assets, but there's no water underneath. <laughs> this is insane. This is such a crazy place. Oh my god, the icebergs are even floating in midair. That's crazy. Dude, this place is, there's no water, so it's like, all the water is being taken out. I wonder if I can actually jump on top of them, or do I just fall through? I'm gonna guess I'll fall through, but let's see if I can actually get myself on top of an iceberg. Oh my god. Yeah, you can jump on it. How cool is that? This is such a weird zone I'm in. How cool does this look? This is like a crazy glitch. So the thing with these zones is that these were actually put in by Blizzard. Whenever Blizzard creates a dungeon, there's usually a surrounding terrain that is blocked by invisible walls, and they usually just copy and paste the world map basically in the background of the dungeon, which is what you're seeing here. Dude, there's Deathwing. There's the corpse of Deathwing. I bet you've never seen that this close before. It's kind of crazy since this is in the background, but yeah, it's like a pretty detailed model that they just put into the game. I wonder what will happen if we enter the temple. It looks like the temple is exactly the same as it was in Wrath of the Lich King. It doesn't look like Deathwing being on top of this has affected it in any way except for the giant amounts of fire and what looks like lava yeah wow I wonder what happens if we go oh my god okay wow they even put a fire effect if you go into the lava wow that's pretty thorough for a place you're not really supposed to go to i didn't think it would actually affect me but it does where's that lava coming from oh what? Oh my god, it actually comes from Deathwing's mouth. So what, Deathwing has lava blood apparently, because that's what is coming out of his mouth. Okay, this looks like an abandoned Scarlet Crusade town, and there's zero NPCs here. This is a completely abandoned place. Kind of creepy, to be honest, how there's literally nobody here. This place is just, oh my god, what happened? Yo, it just went dark. Okay, well, for some reason, my skybox has just turned into pitch black, like I'm in space. Okay, that is kind of crazy. 
I'm not sure what just happened there, but my skybox is just complete. Okay, so that's the trigger point. Even at night, World of Warcraft is never this dark. Lights on, lights off. Lights on, lights off. Wow, this looks even cooler when it's pitch black. There is Deathwing impaled on the top of the temple. Wow, they even put this zone in. I forgot what it's called. There's so much zones that are copy and pasted. But it looks like there is a limit. It has been completely cut off down the middle here. And I'm pretty sure if I go beyond that boundary, I will disconnect. So I don't want that. I want to continue exploring the zone and hopefully I won't get disconnected or my game will freeze. I'm pretty sure that will happen if I go out of bounds. That's usually what happens in these kind of circumstances. Okay, well, here's the Dalaran bubble that you can just go in and out of. There's nothing actually stopping you from going in and out of it. Okay, so I'm going to try and climb at the peak of this mountain. And with a Demon Hunter, it should be kind of possible. It's going to be, cut, like, like, as you can see, it's hard to get up here. But I want to try and get to the peak so that I can jump all the way to Dalaran, or at least attempt to glide my way to Dalaran from the highest point possible. But, god... This is really hard. Two thousand years later. So after a long time of climbing the mountain, I've finally gotten up to this point. We're gonna try and explore Dalaran. Like, what is inside this version of Dalaran? I'm pretty curious at this point. So with my Demon Hunter wings, I hopefully can glide myself all the way to that version of Dalaran, and it's gonna be very fascinating to see what is inside there. I'm I'm not expecting much. Like, I'm pretty sure it would just be an empty version of Dalaran with zero NPCs, but it's going to be the exact same copy of Dalaran, just the ghost town version, you know? So I'm going to glide here and, you know, dash in between and hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to make it. It's going to be cutting it kind of close, but hopefully if I just continue dashing and gliding here, I should be able to make it. So far, it looks pretty promising. I just love that Blizzard has created all of these crazy detailed backgrounds that you can explore. Well, we're actually getting into Dalaran. The question is, will we actually officially zone into it? Dude, we just changed channel into Dalaran, so we are officially in an alternate version of Dalaran. That is kind of crazy like hopefully there's a way to get up here and i'm hitting an invisible wall here but oh god i think i'm stuck it looks like i've hit that boundary that i spoke about i'm kind of screwed so i'll have to like finagle my way out of here using a dungeon finder this is what i hope didn't happen unfortunately i got stuck here and i couldn't explore dalaran maybe in the next video i'll come back here if this video could get 200 likes i will make another version of this video exploring dalaran in the ghost version if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel this is volty signing out